Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the sexual reproduction in Gaucheria in the last lecture we have studied about the asexual reproduction as well as vegetative reproduction so if we talk about the sexual reproduction in the Gaucheria then we can say that the sexual reproduction in the Gaucheria is oogamous like so we will firstly try to define it what mean oogamous oogamous mean the gametes Having two gametes mean male and female. If the male gametes are motile and female gametes are non-motile. If the male gametes are motile as well as female gametes are non-motile. which are involved in the sexual reproduction so such type of reproduction is known as oogamous reproduction so if we talk about the plant body of Ocheria then we can say that the plant body of Ocheria is homothallic plant body homothallic what mean homothallic? homothallic mean the plant body which contain both type of gametes or a sex structure such as male structure as well as female structure if we talk about the homothallic plant body so it means the plant body having both gametes such as male structures if the male structure and female structures are present in the same plant body same plant body so such type of plant body or a thallus is known as homothallic homothallic so it means we can say that the plant body as well as thallus of the vocheria is homothallic mean both male, male as well as female structure are present on the same body so if we talk about next to the sexual reproduction then we can say that about the sex organs if we talk about the sex organs of the male in the vocheria the male structure in the vocheria are known as anthridia anthridia and if we talk about the female sex organ then oogonia are are female sex structure so anthridia are male structures and oogonia are female structures sex structures and if we talk about these both structures these both structures are present on the same plant body or a thallus so now we will try to discuss about firstly the development of anthridia it means how anthridia are produced at the plant body so firstly development of anthridia Anthridia. How these anthridia are produced in the plant body? We know that the plant body is filamentous as well as branched but sinusitic or aseptic. But sinusitic or aseptic. It means there are no cross walls present in the each branch of which area so these the plant body is look like this these are the branches and these are the branches of which area and we know that there are no septa present in the plant body so this is also look like this this is also a branch if we take only a small portion of this whole plant body so how 
these anthridia are produced in the plant body so firstly i will tell you anthridia are produced at the tip of each branch at that uh, these are uh, each branch but such type which type of branch which are involved in the production of anthridia so small size branch are involved mostly in the formation of anthridia so how the small branch produce the anthridia for example this one is a small branch and this small branch tip of this small branch divided by a septum so this is a plant body or a thallus thallus this is a small branch and this is a tip but this tip separates some cells towards apical portion and now this is now being converted into anthridium formation so how these anthridia are produced so firstly i will tell you about the shape so anthridia are cylindrical hook shape and the anthrozoid which are produced inside this that will be club shaped that will be club shapes so now we are going to study how the anthrozoids are produced so firstly we uh, told you that these are cylindrical so now this shape is cylindrical then this shape will convert into a hook shaped structure so this cell grow like this this cell grow and tip of this cell is divided from this whole structure or a filament and now the protoplast of this this cell is now converting into many uninucleated cell as well as this cell grow and make a hook so how hook like structure is formed look like here so uh, you can see here this is a sinusoidal plant body this is a tip of a cell which is uh, forming uh, uh, which is converting into anthidia and cell this apical cell is divided into many nucleated cells so like this these are many nucleated cell which are present at the tip of anthidia so you can see here this is a hook like structure this is a cylindrical structure but anthrozoid which will produce and come out that will be club shaped so uh, i will explain later how the club shape look like so when these are mature after the burst of this anthidia then anthrozoid come out but keep in mind anthridia release the anthrozoid and anthrozoid contain two flagella which are unequal in size it mean both flagella are not similar in size so one flagella may be large and one flagella may be short so two flagella are present one is large and second is short so one is large and second is short so these are the anthrozoids which are coming out from the anthidia so these are club shape what mean club shape this structure is a club shape it mean for example this one is structure and it have some flagella and these are opposite in direction so such type of structure is uh, such such type of shape is known as club shape so these are the club shape and three anthrozoid which are coming out from this anthridia it is a male portion of ocharia and these are anthrozoids which will fertilize the egg or ovogony ovogonium to produce a zygote so this was all about the production of anthridia as well as release of anthrozoid from the male structure is known as anthridia which are involved in the sexual